The last place we see Igris is from a distance. So tell me why as soon as we land, he is in a cricketer pose, ready to full swing. So the leveling has not missed yet and frankly it's gonna be hard as hell for me to do a full video on it. So today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Instead of a full review, we're going to be talking about one character. A character so sinister, so diabolical, he beat the absolute hell out of Sung Jin Woo without saying a single word. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm talking about Egris the Blood Red. As usual, there will be spoilers, so you have been warned. This dog, Absolute Chad, has been cooking in every episode, producing one of the most one-sided beatdowns I've ever seen. Not to mention the fear he puts into his victims. Now look at this man, does he think he's Goku? Rest in peace to the goat. So when I tell you, the shock of seeing this man who radiates Black Air Force activity getting folded into a human pretzel. But let me give you some context. As I said before, Sung has been doing the absolute most for these last few episodes, leveling the hell up overly cautious hero style, soloing sea level dungeons back to back, so much so that the system decides to give him a prompt saying job change. Now I don't know about you, but there is no way in hell I'm trusting this. Man, will readers know what he gets from this, but with my luck I'd get downgraded to D rank and get some low grade archer thing or something. So Sung goes to a secluded area and accepts the quest, which leads him into a dungeon and already foreshadowing this man, look at him just staring there menacingly. So Sung entered the dungeon and had to mark a bunch of knights, mages, you know some of the main D&D roles. So after he was done with all of that, leveling up some more and acquiring some stat boosting armor cause trust me, he's gonna need that for what he is about to face on the other side of this door. And look at this entrance, this is a man who is standing on business and Sung knows it. Look at this nigga sweating buckets. So Igris goes in full swing and decimates an entire pillar. And look at Sung, he is already shook, he's scared as hell. Then this man swings his greatsword at Sung, sending him flying and as soon as he lands on his feet, Igris is already up in his grill, swinging full force at a bro's head. Who hurt you? It is not that deep bro. And this idiot thinks he has time to be looking away, just for Igris to send him flying again. And look at, look at this shot. These animators are so devious. They put us in Sung's perspective and check it. The last place we see Igris is from a distance. So tell me why as soon as we land, he is in a cricketer pose, ready to full swing. Now from here, Sung tries to put a few licks in and the two get to scrapping and Sung successfully lands a hit to his armor. So Igris slams his sword down and smacks Sung away. And look at this man just glaring through the dust. And then Sung out here like, you know what? Screw this dagger. I only know one way to damage armor. Then Igris looks at him and is like, Oh, oh, we boxing? CLS? And puts down his great sword and his daggers. Sung out here like, oh, you're you're being chivalrous, aren't you? Igris looks at this man's like, chivalrous? <laughs> I'll show you Severus. And flash steps into this man's stomach and punches him into the floor. I just want to bring this up by the way, at the beginning of the dungeon, it gives Sung two warnings. One, healing potions and his recovery skills are locked, so he can't use them. And two, he can't leave until he completes the dungeon. Oh my gosh, so you telling me, he can't leave after getting beat the hell up, he can't even heal, and he can't even leave. What did we do? If it was this man, I'll be crazy. You can't be doing this to this man. So Igris throws Sung into another wall, and then this man must have felt inspired by Jojo. He must have been watching part 3 recently, because this man starts doing barrages out here like. Muda, 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 
Sung manages to escape, but not without losing what he thinks to be 500 HP at minimum. Left this man looking like Meliodas after Derriere beat the hell out of him. And look at this man, just steering him down in a, from a distance. So Sung decides to put his speed on, and not gonna lie, even though he missing most of these, I respect the effort. They continue scrapping, but then Sung lands a clean hit to Idris' neck. Now you would think, finally, I did some damage. Well, you did damage already, buddy. And you pissed him to hell off. And look at Sung, he knows he's cooked. Idris let out a shriek, and as the camera pans out, Idris hits this man with a four-piece combo before gravity lets him hit the ground and gut punches him into a distance. Oh, but you think he let you get away? Nah. Igris hits the dash, jumps into the air, and Batman dives, somehow launching Sung into the air again. And if that wasn't enough, he grabs Sung by the leg and slams him into the ground, swinging him around and pelting him full force at a wall. Oh, but you think he finished? This man ain't finished? Igris doesn't give him a chance and does the bully and drags this man through the wall and ends it with another throw at a wall. What is it with this man are throwing people? What is wrong with you? Dog walking this poor man got sung here gasping out for air, barely able to breathe. And look at this man, Igris walking him down and look at his face with utter disgust. Oh, oh, you thought you was him, huh? You thought it was him until you met me, little weak little boy. Now as fun as this was, you live long enough. Time for you to pass away. Now you know that plot armor had to kick in. He's main character. Bro can't get be beaten like this and die in his own show. Sung made sure to return the favor and didn't let this man rest, stabbing him over and over and over, doing this cleanest rage moment. Reminding me of Black Clover early episodes until Igris the Goat was defeated. Oh, and that's Igris defeated. Look, even Sung knew that that was plot kicking in. The man said it was a fluke that he won. And with that being said, this man Igris has to be up there with the top 10 most disrespectful fights in anime history. But that's all from me. I'm the Dancing Bolt, and I'm clocking out.